Hi, I'm Tarquin Ralph. I'm from Liquid Instruments, and I'm also one of the last undiscovered great rock guitarists from the 70s. And at least one of those two statements is true. So given that, I thought I'd use a chorus pedal to show you a couple of features in our Spectrum Analyzer. Here's a typical chorus pedal, four main controls, FX level shows how much of the effect is mixed with the dry signal, speed shows how fast the modulation is, depth is how strong the modulation is, and tone is a filter that bids the mid-tones in the acoustic signal. That's around 1 to 5 kilohertz. So here's what the pedal does to the sound of a guitar. First of all, here's the dry sound. Now if I turn the pedal on, with, with the settings at sort of moderate levels, you can hear a slight wobble behind the sound. Now if I turn the effect up and the depth up, you'll hear a more dramatic and rather unpleasant sound. Now let's see what it sounds like with the Moku. So here we have the signal coming into the Moku. It comes out and it splits and half goes off to the amplifier so you can hear it and then half goes off to the Moku input so you can see it. This is what it sounds like. Um, so it's quite horrible, quite annoying, and you can hear the modulation, so I'll turn it off. And this is what it looks like. So at the moment I have the modulation turned off, and you can see a single peak based around 5 kilohertz. That's being generated um, from the signal generator, which is part of the instrument. And it's one of the great things about the Moku. It means you can generate signals and use them as inputs to other devices. Now let me turn the modulation on. So you can see it bouncing around. Here are the two things I wanted to show you. First of all, the persistence feature. So if I go to here, I go to the frequency button, I can turn, I can turn up the persistence. And now the trace, there's an echo of the trace maintained on the screen and you can see it more clearly what's happening over time. The other thing, however, is if I hold the trace, I can go to the waterfall view. And that's rather nice. So this is a spectrogram of the signal and you can see as I turn it you can see this sinusoidal modulation the pedal's putting on and as I, I can move this around in 3D and look at it as you'd expect with an audio pedal it's not hugely high quality but you can see it's there. Now as I turn the speed up that modulation happens more quickly and then as I turn the speed down, the modulation happens more slowly. And as I turn the depth up and the FX up, you get more of the signal. And then as I turn the depth down, you get less. Anyway, two nice views of the um, spectrum analyzer that you may not have used.